hello guys welcome back to my channel today's tutorial is on a jumbo box braid and here i'm just showing you all the products i'll be using uh, for this hairstyle and uh, i'm just gonna be using um, the coconut oil to soak in um, the rubber bands um, that way it's easier for it to slide through and also when taking it out um, you don't pull your hair out or anything like that so as you all know i love 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 using the um shining germ to part my hair to define my part so you just apply a little bit on it after you part the hair and then part it again after that is what gives you the neat and crispy look so after parting you're just going to take your clip and you're just going to clip the hair up so it's not all over the place that way it's easier for you to braid so I'm gonna apply more of the shine and jam and the reason why I'm applying uh, more shine and jab is that as you can see my client has like a 4c uh, natural hair texture and I always try to avoid um, um, putting too much heat on my client hair I did stretch it out a little bit with the blow dryer but I'm all about healthy hair so I try not to uh, put in too much heat which can cause damages to the hair so um, in order for it to still um, neat and sleeky I'm just gonna substitute um, the heat with the product so I'm just taking my rubber bands um, I use two um, that way it's um, more secured and you're just gonna use the rubber band and just keep um, so rolling it until it feels um, tight enough not extremely tight but just tight to hold it um, enough so it's not um, slipping out or going anywhere so let's keep watching So after installing the rubber band, you just want to make sure um, the hair is uh, nice and secured um, before you start braiding it. So I will be using the Supreme Expression Hair. It already comes um, pre-stretched and I'm just combing it to make sure um, there is no tangling or anything like that um, before braiding onto the hair. So I'm just going to take uh, one piece and then slide my index finger right into it and then place it on the hair I already parted and start braiding it. Hopefully you guys can see uh, what I'm doing. So as I'm braiding, I'm making sure I'm talking in uh, natural hair to the back of the box braid. So our natural hair is not um, showing or anything like that. So when talking, you just want to make sure the extension hair is on top of the natural hair and the natural hair is on the back and you want to make sure you're braiding it tightly so it's not um, coming out in any way.
so like i said before if you want your braid uh, looking nice and neat even on the natural 4c hair you want to make sure you're applying uh, um, some product uh, i prefer the shine and jam the yellow one because uh, it moisturizes uh, the hair so um i put in the uh, description box below on where and the types of product i use for this hairstyle so you can check that out um, down below in the description box
so as you can see here i already parted all the hair and i installed the rubber bands um, that way it's easy for me to braid so you just keep um, braiding what one after the other until you are done braiding so let's keep watching So when you're done braiding, you're just going to take your mousse and apply it on the hair. Um, the mousse reduces any frizziness um, or anything like that. So you just want to make sure you apply the uh, mousse, like on, especially on the roots of the hair. And you can also put it on the hair. So I usually just put it on the roots and to like halfway of the braid. And then I put the hands of the braids in hot water. And then apply more mousse on the hands of the braids. Hopefully that makes sense. So I hear a lot of people asking why we put braids in hot water and the reason why is because the hot water um, seal the hands that way your braids is not unraveling and it also makes it look um, more natural uh, when you don't put it in uh, hot water after a um, like couple of days um, the braids start looking frizzy and it just don't look right so the hot water keeps it um, silky and it just look more natural. Just applying um, some hot spray so I do this basically on jumbo braids because jumbo braids um, really don't last as long as medium and small braids um, and this just um, all the braids in um, making making it last longer as well and I'm just using um, the moisturizer and um, you can use any types of moisturizer and also um, olive oil to moisturize the cap to avoid um, itchiness due to dryness of the scalp. So and last but not the least is um, the styling part which is my favorite part and I'm also going to be laying down um, the edges or the baby hair or whatever uh, we cut it so and that's pretty much it for this style. I had so much fun um, doing this um, tutorial and I hope you guys like this video and if you do please give me a big thumbs up also please subscribe to my channel to see more videos and also turn on the notification bell that way you get um, notified each time I post a video my Instagram and Facebook page is at sawdat112 thank you so much for tuning into my channel and I will see you all in my next video
you have a blessed day bye